that's watching me right now do as you please please do it if you love jesus christ keep loving jesus christ okay if you love uh what the nigga like allah <laughs> and the prophet muhammad please keep loving the prophet muhammad and allah oh uh, l what the nigga name uh what did you say? I'm trying to think of the niggas as the Jewish motherfucker. The Jewish motherfuckers. I said it. And so what? God damn it. And people get hung up on, oh, I don't talk to them. Oh, they Muslims. Oh, they Christians. Oh, they Baptists. Oh, they holiness. Oh, they uh they Catholic. Man, bro, we still people, huh? We still people. And that's the that's the ultimate thing, bro. We still people, no matter if you white, black, and different, bro. Like like this, like I'm gonna say this. And I know a lot of people may be feeling, but I don't care. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it, bro. It's people of all races that I probably hate. They fucking guts, black people. Even though I love everybody, I love everybody. But some people I just hate your fucking guts. You know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes you just like, bro. Ugh. My bro, ugh, I hate your fucking guts. You know, you just want to tell a motherfucker that sometimes. Like, I hate your fucking guts. Copyright. Don't nobody try to get it. Another one. I just hate your fucking guts. But in a good way. You know what I'm saying? But in a good way, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know how they feel. Like, it's white people. They be assholes. Then I be like, bro, you a fucking asshole. It's black people. Like, bro, you a fucking asshole. Asian people. That guy's a fucking dick. Mexican people. Your essay is fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's no matter. Like, bro, it's just probably, I just probably met you on those days where you were just a fucked up individual. Like, it's not because you, you're not fucked up because you're white. Or you're not fucked up because you're black. You fucked up because I met you. I just encountered you on a fucked up day. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. The next day, bro, we probably can chop it up and be cool and be friends. Like, I hate when people try to act like people supposed to be nice and happy. And, like, and, and just with the shit every day. Like, bro, you probably just, like, bro, I know it would be nice to be that way. You want everybody to be that way. Everybody be happy every day. But, bro, you know people ain't like that sometimes. People got shit on their mind. So you fuck with the person on a round day, bro. They might let you have it. That's not, that don't make them racist. You know what I'm saying? You fucking over somebody that day and they say, hey, man, you nigga. Like, god damn, nigga. No, people want to make that a big outrage, bro. It's 2021. It's 2021, people. If we're still getting offended by words, if words make you go out of pocket, I ain't, hey, fuck it. I say what people, I say what motherfuckers don't want to say. I'm going to say it. If words still, it's 2021. If words still make you get out of pocket, hey, look here. Shame on you. And I got one more, one more other thing for you. Yeah. It's the world's smallest violin. I play your fucking sad song. Bro, it don't matter, bro. Like, stop letting birds. Nobody ain't trying to harm you, man. Stop letting what people say get to you, dog. Like, bro, ain't nobody, like, stop acting like, oh, this, what that person said is control is, is keeping me down. No, it's not, bro. If, like, bro, if you take the steps, they take the steps. And, like, think about it. This, this, this actually happened. This is a story that I experienced and I saw it for myself and I couldn't believe that I was seeing it. It was kind of, it was kind of, like, I was looking at the, like, this time, I went on neither one of their sides, but it was a black person and a white person. But I was kind of looking at the black person as sideways. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Wait. Now, I was looking at them sideways because. All right, Pete, I'm in the store. I was, I was in the store, in the line. You know, we got to have six distance apart. So, that was a less fortunate Let's keep it respectful. It was a less fortunate white woman. 
and it was a young gent, a black gentleman, probably, probably in his late twenties, early thirties, and dressed decent. For my, you know, what I'm saying observation, he will, he's what you would call a hood nigga. A hood nigga. But I guess the memo never got back to the hood niggas that motherfuckers was doing six feet apart in this world. Of just, I guess it never got back to the hood niggas. We saw her. It wasn't. A, it just was something that everybody else was doing to all the hood niggas out there. It's not something that I'm trying to get aggressive with you or nothing, or nothing like that because I don't want no problems. But the hood nigga was in line as if we were still in 2018, 15. Like, we still ain't went no social deal. He was in line like that. So, he wasn't close, but he was close. Like, he was normal. Like, in a normal world. But, the less fortunate white lady, you know what I'm saying? Flip, flop, dirty bottom of the feet. You know, it's kind of, it's some of them signs that you can see. Some of them signs you can see that, you know, when you see a less fortunate white person. The feet dirty, flip, flop, you know. Okay. So, I guess the person didn't like that person being that close to them. Okay? So, the white person come around and looked at the man like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, six, six feet, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how she looked. She didn't say anything. She just looked at him. But, just by me, me being accustomed to, like, hood nigga mannerisms. Like, I, I know... I know what they saying without, they ain't got to talk. You know what I'm saying? So, just me being accustomed to it, I see the other nigga look at the bitch like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you, like, for her reaction, I could tell that he's had to say something under his breath because I only seen the, you know what I'm saying? But he had to say something loud enough for her to hear because I can hear. So she turned around, she's like, damn, you shouldn't have been all over my back. And he was like, Bitch, ain't nobody on your back. Fuck out of here. She was like, well, all in all, she hit the end bone. She hit the end bone. Yes, she did. She hit the end bone. She called him a nigga. Yes, she did. And he went haywire. Now, if I was any other person in 2021 that's actually had a cell phone, my, your, like, it's just the thing in 2021, your first reaction is hit record. They should make record, like, right there on the home screen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that should, like, they already got the camera on the home screen. They should make record right there on the home screen. Because that, that's people's next reaction. It's not, you know what I'm saying, to, to resolve the conflict. Which which was my next reaction. Was to say, oh, oh chill out, bro. No, oh, chill out, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Because the lady was a little older. She was a little older. It, that shit wasn't worth it. But I'm telling this story to say, bro, like, from the way that you dress, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that nigga had buku money, but you had enough money to get, you know what I'm saying? You got nice kicks, phone passes. You know what I'm saying? You had nice kicks on, nice clothes. Like, you was a decent, he was decent dressing dude. You know what I'm saying? He was decent dressing. So, I had to ask myself when I pumped my guy, they was like, he still, now he at the gas pump. I'm at the gas pump, and I hear still hear him talk like, bitch got me fucked up. Stupid ass hoe, like, bitch don't know fuck she talking to, bitch. Come on, nigga, like, and I'm still, I, like, I pump my gun, I'm like, bro, chill on that, dog. So I get in the car. I'm driving the drum say man. That's crazy. That a black person, you really care that if a person that you can clearly see that you're doing better than, like, in life, like, you can clearly see that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you like a step above that person. Like, you getting, you having more than that person is having. Like, you really still care that, like, what they say to you or what they so-called think of you. Like, and I, I don't understand that. Because the whole argument behind the N-word is that, nah, they think that, you know what I'm saying, we was called up, we was slayed, they trying to keep us down and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's the whole argument to the shit. So, for I just got to ask, bro, Bro, are you niggas capping? That's what the new word is today, ain't right? Capping? Like, these niggas capping? Like, niggas out here capping. Like, because you saying, oh, you thinking they calling you this because of this, but now you clearly can see that you're in a higher standpoint than the person that's actually saying it to you. So what do it matter what they feel? 
or like it's nothing that that lady can do to hold this brother back. Like in life. Like she wasn't going to stop him from getting a job. She wasn't going to stop him from getting a bank loan. She wasn't going to stop him from getting an automobile, a house, or uh, owning his own business. That person wasn't going to stop him from doing nothing. But he chose to still get out of pocket with that person. Call me silly. If it makes sense to you, let me know how it makes sense. Because it makes no sense to me. It just makes no sense to me. So, 